Hello, welcome to my feeding video. Uh, let's start off with the uh, Formictopus Conceritus. <laughs> no problem, I figured this one would be hungry since it molted recently. Look at that vibrant blue. Very nice. In fact, you could probably take another one down. Let me give you, let's see. Let me give you some more. <laughs> There's two. Care to have a third one? And there's number three. Oh, <laughs> wasn't that neat? Oh, wow. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and give this one an extra treat uh, because it had molted and I figured it would be extra hungry this time. And indeed, I was correct. <laughs> what a glutton. <laughs> well, that's good. I have plenty of crickets. Oh, well, cool. Alright, we'll move on to the next tea. Let's see if the Nandu Carapanensis would like a cricket. Or two or three. Well, one escaped. That one didn't escape. <laughs> First one, I think, bounced off my leg. A good attack there. Enjoy that. This is uh, the enclosure of my Trinochilus murinus. That was great. That's about the most that we see of this one. <laughs> On rare occasions, I'll catch her out, but uh, that was a pretty good view. Usually, we just get a little piece of a leg. Awesome. She was hungry. Well, there you go, sweetie. You enjoy. This is my Afono Palma Cal uh, Simani. Let's see if uh, this one would like a pretty decent sized cricket. Wow. Now that was an attack. <laughs> that cricket tried to get away. What do you think about that? That's probably the biggest cricket I've ever given you. Now you'll be spoiled from now on. 
You won't expect anything less. Well, good. You enjoy your huge treat. I'm gonna have to put you in a new enclosure before we know it. Perhaps next molt we'll do that. Alright. Awesome. This is my Nandu Colorado Velosis. Sorry about that, my battery died. No action yet from the Nandu Colorado Velosis. like the cricket knows. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he wants it. Wow. That's one hard cricket to catch. It's playing dead. Okay. Perhaps not interested. <laughs> that was an update anyway. Doing well. This is my Brachypalma Vagans. Yes, I'll gladly take that. <laughs> well, good for you. She's a beauty. She was just waiting, wasn't she? Yep, you enjoy your worm. Alright. <laughs> this is my pair of Fiza Pavula. This one would like a couple of 
small crickets. A <laughs> good grab. I like the reddish coloring on this one and the mirror patch on the abdomen. Very nice. Care for number two. <laughs> oh yeah, the cricket went down down there. It's hungry. Oh, you'll get it later. Don't worry. You enjoy your treat that's in your fangs right now. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, there's a little bit of my Pocletheria striata. Let's give this one some crickets. didn't seem to take it. Surprising. Oh, but I'm pretty sure uh, she'll get it later. Come on. You're gonna lose your dinner. Oh well. No attack from the striata today. Better luck next time. And there's that mean girl. The Ceratogyrus brachycephalus. Right in there. And you can barely see her. There she is. So, I'm going to put a super worm in the webbing, and uh, she can get it whenever she feels like it. Well, good. I think that's the second time we've been able to see her take uh, prey on camera. That's wonderful. Didn't get a threat posture for once. Bet you were hungry. Alright, you enjoy. This is my Canthoscuria chacoana. Let's see if we can shine a little light and right there. We're going to see if uh, she'll take down a prey item for us. Let's see, what do I have here? I have a nice cricket. There you go. Good job. Log gotta love those acanthus curious. Alright. Here's my Lassiodora Parahabana.
That's a good sized cricket for you. That didn't stop you, did it? Check that out. Yeah, that cricket's done for. <laughs> All right. This is my Acanthoscuria genicolata. <laughs> Took that down with no problem. Oh yeah, they usually don't hesitate. That's why you don't want to touch the Canthoscurias, because they may mistake your finger for food and take a nice bite. Their, their hunger is just crazy. Alright, enough on that one. This is where my Heteroscodra maculata is. And let's see. Well, you can just barely make he or she out right there at the bottom. I put a cricket in there, but the cricket's at the top. The uh, maculata hasn't found the cricket yet. But it's a pretty good sized cricket. So I'm sure it'll enjoy it. I don't like to keep the top open too long on this one because it's devilish fast. <laughs> Alright, enough on that one. Well, on this one you can only see the uh, back side of uh, my Phonopalma calcodes. Right there. So, let's see if putting a uh, cricket in there will draw it out of its burrow. I guess that's a no. <laughs> Landed right on it. Yeah, I haven't gotten this one to eat on camera yet. Hopefully someday. Alright. Well, if you want a better look at the Athonopalma calcodes, it came out of its burrow a little bit. But, uh, there it is. I think it sensed the cricket. There's the crickets over there. But yeah, at least you get to see a little bit more. No attacks though. Not this time. Alright. This is my Acanthoscuria Brocklehursty. Let's see if uh, the Brocklehursty would like some crickets. Yep. Took them both down. Look how big that abdomen is. Whew. I'm going to have to slow down feeding you. Wow. I truly believe that the Acanthoscurias would eat until they exploded. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, well, enjoy your double treat. Let's see if my very tiny Brachypalma smithy would like a cricket. I hate it when that happens. Oh, 
Oh, well, not today, but I'll leave it in there. Check on it later. All right. This is my Vicularia Vicularia. Let's see if this one would like the cricket. Yep. This one's really good at taking food from my tongs. I really like this one. I'm so glad I got one. Very nice arboreal species. Well, cool. I'll put another in there for you. Alright. Here's my Nandu Chromatis named Fruitcake. Let's see if Fruitcake would like two crickets. Yep. <laughs> she was waiting for that. Isn't she beautiful? She's one of my favorites of my collection. If I had to sell all of my teas, with the exception of two of them, I would keep my Chromata Palma Cianio Pubescens and my Nandu Chromatis. They're my favorites. After that, I'd probably keep my Bracky Palma Smithy. But, oh, I love them. Alright, Fruitcake. You did a good job today for your audience. I'll give you some water, and you're good to go. Alright. This is my very sweet Gramistola Rosea. Highly underrated species because they are uh, they aren't incredibly popular because they are there's so many of them out there they're they're just common um, plus they tend to fast a lot at the same time because they're easy to acquire they are popular so we can go either way um, but I think they're absolutely beautiful. Some people find them boring, but uh, I like it. I think everyone should have one in their collection. So, well, maybe not a beginner, but uh, I will attempt to give this one a cricket. <laughs> yeah, as usual, she's not interested. Uh, but it's in there in case she does become interested. And I gave her some water. So she's in good shape. She hasn't eaten for me in about a month or so. Maybe even longer. But that's uh, typical. She's not due for a molt. So it's just she's going through that typical Grandma Stola Rosea fasting. But there's your cricket uh, for later. <laughs> Maybe a month from now. <laughs> I think there's a superworm in there buried somewhere. Um, actually, oh, here it is. Hmm, it's dead. It didn't survive. It doesn't appear to have been killed by the tarantula. I think it just expired. But, uh, oh well, that one's not turning into a beetle. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how long that cricket stays in there. <laughs> Might have to take it out. All right, girly. On to the next tea. I tell you what, my Brachypoma bomi sure is taking a long time to molt. <laughs> I keep expecting it any day now, and it's not happening. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you can see the legs are... Uh, 
they look opaque and the abdomen is dark and swollen so and I haven't fed this one in a while so I know that it's not because it's stuffed it's because it's about to molt so I'm gonna add a little moisture in there and uh, leave it alone and expect to molt any day now all right well as I was lifting the lid there was some webbing on the underside of the lid and of course uh, some of it landed on the tarantula <laughs> but uh, that's just the way it goes with these let's see if uh, <clears throat> uh, the chromatopoma cyanopubescence would like a superworm stuck in his own webbing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure uh, he'll get out of it. Didn't take that with as much gusto as I expected, but uh, it was a take nonetheless. Give you some more water here. There you go. Well, can't really see the blue very well, but this is one of the most beautiful tarantulas out there, in my opinion. All right, enjoy your superworm under your own webbing. <laughs> All right. Well, I was going to feed this one, but I uh, noticed it molted. This is the uh, Prixopama ocarty. So, no feeding. Well, that flashlight doesn't seem to help. I don't want to disturb he or she, but because uh, it's in recovery mode. But, yep, it molted all right. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but just take my word for it. <laughs> Sitting right by the molt. I'll give it some moisture and, and just leave the tea alone. All right, on to the next one. This is my Brachypoma abipulosum. One, two, down. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I felt generous today and decided to give you two instead of one. <laughs> yeah, you're getting mighty big yourself, girly. Oh, yeah. You like that? All right, I think we have two more teas to go, and then we're done. Look at that. Remember when I said my Brachypoma smithy was in pre-molt? Well, that was very true, because this one did molt. And look how beautiful she is. Look at that. One of the most beautiful tarantulas out there. Great for beginners. This is definitely one of my favorites. Well, obviously, we can't feed this one. We'll have to wait till next week. But uh, as you can see, uh, it came through the mulch just fine. So, got plenty of water still. Very good. Beautiful. Gotta love those Brachypoma smithies. Alright, probably shouldn't end a tarantula feeding video with a tea that you can't see very well, but this is my Salmopoeus ermenia, 
And I have a Cricut, pretty good size one. Hmm. Landed right on the two. There we go, maybe. It's touching it, but hasn't really grabbed it yet. Are you going to grab it? <laughs> yeah, we can't even see that. Well, anyway, if it didn't get it, it'll get it later. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed my feeding video. All right, thanks, guys.